All right. So I'm doing a hair drawing practice mainly because drawing hair is a weak spot for me. Hair is very diverse and it's hard to pin down how to draw hair exactly. And uh, I wanted to get a general sense of drawing hair. You know, I'm not looking to master drawing hair in one sitting or anything. But I wanted to get a basic feel from actually focusing on hair. Hair is also a defining part of many character designs. So I think it's worth spending some time on. I'm sketching with the Pigma Micron 5, which is a fine liner. I don't normally use fine liners in general, but seeing that the Micron tend to get a lot of high praises, I figured I would take a look and try them out. So hair tends to be very amorphous. The shape is not very definite. So it's, it's hard to pin down. Um, well, it's kind of strange because hair does have a shape, but it also doesn't have a shape. Um, depending on the length and thickness of the hair, hair can be, hair can have many uh, long strands that, that merge and separate and overlap each other. And uh, hair can also be layered on top of each other. So it was very difficult to to actually get a good grasp of how hair is shaped but that's pretty much what i'm focused on i also saw a few tutorials just so i could get a general sense of of how to approach this and what i found is that how you draw hair depends on the art style and the art medium that you use. I'm not really going for a particular art style, but since I'm drawing with a pen, I I try to represent the hair with some with volume and direction. Halfway through, I sort of realized that I don't necessarily like drawing with fine liners, and that's not the fault of the pen itself. It's just um, it's just me not used to drawing with this sort of pen. My issue here is that I had a hard time changing the line weight, especially when it comes to hair. Hair is supposed to look very amorphous and ambiguous around the edges. But with this, I just sort of end up using solid lines throughout the hair all the way through, which it, it just looks like a thick object. Yeah, the, the, the heavy handedness kind of got the best of me here. So the lines ended up looking a lot thicker than they should. And uh, which leads to there not being the amorphous shape that I would like the hair to be, especially on, on longer hair. What I do like about this is that the hair actually showed some shape. I'm actually able to tell what shape the, the hair is, even though it's too much shape, there's supposed to be some level of um, ambiguity in the hair shape there, but I'm able to see the hairstyle and see what I was actually trying to go for. They actually showed some volume as well when it comes to the hair. I like that about it, but next time I'll, I'll try to focus on more wispy lines to get that amorphous shape that I keep talking about. And I'll also switch to a ballpoint pen because with a ballpoint pen, I'll be able to control the line weight a lot more and I'll be able to get thinner lines and I'll be able to ghost in a few lines if I can. So overall, I did like how this turned out. It's a good first step and I'm looking forward to the next practice session for hair. With that, thanks for watching and take care.